Well, guys, it is possible that the police are finally starting to realise what they are doing to the people who pay their wages is wrong and changing their approach. At least in some things, anyway. We all see yesterday, before Tier 4 was announced, the heavy-handed tactics used by the police on peaceful protesters, which no doubt will continue. Because Boris Johnson cannot have mass dissent seen on the BBC or Sky News, it would end the charade we are living under quicker than you could call him a snivelling shit weasel. So, of course, I am sure that this will continue in regards to the protest, but when it comes to the average every everyday restrictions the Met Police are at least saying hold on a minute. The crap you talk makes no sense and we won't be knocking on people's doors enforcing this bullshit over Christmas. Likely because they know how bad this is making Boris Johnson look. The last thing they want is to be lumbered in with him as the people who cancelled Christmas. The optics on that would be a disaster because remember with the protests they can label them as conspiracy nutters or whatever as we have seen when the media actually reports them. Obviously they wouldn't be able to do that with people's Christmases. Now hopefully the police will start supporting peaceful protests against this lunacy and stop acting like the brown shirts but I won't hold my breath on that for obvious reasons. But them coming out and saying they will not be enforcing this Christmas lunacy is obviously a good thing. A couple of outlets picked up on this but to be honest most of what they say is the usual bullshit framing that no one actually cares about. What really matters is a quote from the Met Police Federation chairman so let's take a quick look at that. It says police boss says tier 4 rules don't make sense and we won't be knocking on doors to check as Christmas bubbles are axed. Something I actually covered yesterday about the lunacy that Boris Johnson has taken part in here. The police leader has said tier 4 rules don't make any sense and they won't be knocking on doors to check Brits are following the lockdown rules on Christmas Day. Ken Marsh, chairman of the Metropolitan Police Federation which represents thousands of rank and file officers, slammed the new restrictions as baffling after festive bubbles were axed for millions in London and the South East. Now here they talk about the Christmas plans, we don't give a shit about that. Just days ago, Boris Johnson insisted shutting down and celebrations would be frankly inhuman, which obviously they would be, but it doesn't really matter because I expect 99% of people are just going to fucking ignore it. Ken Marsh, the police federation chief, told Mail Online that the PM had lost the goodwill of the people over the festive period after promising Brits they would be able to enjoy Christmas with family members. He said, it doesn't make sense, it's going to be no different now from how it was. We are not going to be knocking on people's door on Christmas Day, we have no power of entry, which is something everyone needs to remember. The police cannot just rock up into your fucking house. They have absolutely no right to do it and would be trespassing if they did. He goes on, it's just a shame because I don't think people are going to take much notice, which obviously they won't. You've lost the goodwill of the public, they are so frustrated. And I have to say, he's 100% right at the end there. He has lost the goodwill of the public, they are so frustrated and many people who voted for him last time now fucking hate his guts. In fact, I've even seen Tory voters saying he is worse than Sakia Starmer, Jeremy Corbyn and all the rest of them, which might be going a little bit too far, but he's certainly not far from it if you ask me. And as I've always said, politicians are two cheeks of the same shit covered arsehole, so I dislike them all in general. But now Boris Johnson and of course the Labour Party Conservatives and everyone in there are taking part in this lunacy, so they are literally all as bad as each other. But I do have to say the Met Police's Federation Chief coming out and saying this is a good thing, because people will not be very happy if the police run around doing this shit let me tell you. Which actually, as I said, is probably why they refuse to do it. Can you imagine how bad it will look for the police going around knocking on people's doors and stopping their family Christmas? It's one thing like I said, attacking protesters in the street, you can label conspiracy theorists, anti-vaxxers or anything else, but when you're going around someone's house and stopping their family Christmas, that is not very good optics as I'm sure you're all aware. So as is a given at this point, enjoy your Christmas, there is fuck all they can do. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>